Good afternoon and welcome on this glorious sunny afternoon for uh, Fenland's third meeting of the season. This of course the Norman Southgate Memorial Meeting. Norman has done so much in uh, keeping grass track going in this neck of the woods. The father of course of Gary Southgate on the track racing committee and of course Gary in fact racing in the 500 sidecars as well this afternoon. So a fitting tribute to Norman and nice to see that the Goodwin family are taking part in this meeting. The fact they are sponsoring all the heats of the 500 sidecars and the final in memory of Leicester so we think very much about Norman at this particular time we also think very much about Leicester Goodwin as well still very fresh in our memories that tragedy that happened at High Easter at the British Championships and we look forward to a cracking afternoon's racing not only in the 500 sidecars but in all the classes on this glorious sunny October afternoon. Right, here we come then for race number one, the youth, intermediate and senior racing. March Taxis are the sponsors. We do thank all our sponsors very much for sponsoring all the heats this afternoon. Without their kind assistance, we couldn't put on such meetings that we have today. So, on the line straight away then for the first race of what should be a cracking afternoon racing. It's the youth, intermediate and senior, the first race on the line. The line and start on the race and they get a good start from the inside but it looks like Matthew Stoll has made a move around the outside they go in that top corner for the first time real sort out going into that very tight first corner and they come by a sense to complete the He's in the programme is number nine, I'm sure it's Matthew Stall leading up at that straight for the first time. Daniel Glover's gone through into the second place position. All the races picked up the third place. They come by to complete lap number two then. He's in the lead then with the Glover truck closed the gap with every turn of the wheel as they're moving to that top corner once again. Stall on the inside, Glover again making a move back around the outside line. These two locked together, they move on the floor this time. Stall locked together, Stall on the inside, Glover around the outside. 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 Stall on the inside, Glover around the outside.
in that ninth place, pushing up the top nine of Street League into that corner once again. David Knowles again closed the gap in second place. Rob Bradley consolidating these third place pushes. Street League number four, Rob Bradley in second place. Bradley in third place, number four, Alan Pye, Alan Pye. Street leads into that top corner, 44 time, David Knowles making a big move, right round the outside, Lee Street on the inside, David Knowles on the outside, Lee Street gets on the inside, David Knowles in second, Rob Bradley in third, Siddles in four, Gareth Pye, well with six, Alan Sutton, still away, Lee Street, 22 goes to the head, Peter at 11, and number 43 in 12th place. Race 2 result, and a winner on the 75, Lee Street. Second number 64, David Knowles. And third number 87, Rob Bradley. 31, 12, 70, 77, 23, 2, 22, 45, 43. Wait a minute. The first race speed is first in off the 350 show. Andrew Whittaker leads going in that top corner for Bob Dorman. Making the move round the outside. Vince Kinchy gives everything round the outside of that first corner. Goes the corner for a couple of Go the speed round the outside, Mears has got round the outside, we're going to go through the third place, and we're going to now come in under pressure for that fourth place position. Again, the line, forcing Kinchin right round the outside, right of four, and that on the third, and on the third, and in fourth, in five, in sixth, that's the top six that we see Vince Kinchin, half of that stage, 44 times, the the three, Vince Kinchin the result then, a win for number 18, Vince Kinchin, second number 16, Bob Dolman, and third number 19, Dave Mears, 17, 68, 36, 6, 5, and number 8. 1 minute 4.78, 1 minute 4.78, the time for the previous race, 1 minute 5.91. Those result again quickly of race 2, 75, 64, 87, 31 and 12, 70, 77, 23, 2, 22, 45, 43. Services sponsored race two. We move on to race four. And Mark Clinton service of sponsor race number four. Delete number 18. Ronnie Kinchin, non starter. Three laps, of course, to the cadets and also cadets. Where well, we go then with uh, race number four, they've got the back straight for the first time as well. Alex Pentel leads with uh, Zach Bikeness gone round the outside to lead going in to that to top corner. And Natalia Willis has got the second place position. Bikeness leads it and Willis holding the second place position. Well, that's right, Kings has gone through into third with 21. Brad Tuffley Walters in first place. That's the top four. They've got the back straight once again. It's that Bikeness, the... Uh, British champion in this class, of course, he leads going up that back track, back straight. And Natalia Willis holding that second place position. It's still Ryan Kinsley in the, the third place. They complete the lap two and go on to the last lap this time. Right net leads it from Willis in second. It's uh, Kinsley in third. It's Topley Walters in fourth place. That's the top four. Joe Palliotas in five, as we see that, that right net already in amongst the back markers. They go on that top men for the follow time in race number four. It's 109, that right net that gets the winning line this time. From Natalia Willis picking up the second place position. Third place is Ryan Kingsley. 
Okay, that's for number 21 to come across the line in four. Next grab, top three, Walters comes across the line in fourth place. Race 4 result to win for 109, that's by net. Second number 14, Natalia Willis. And third number 20, Ryan Kinsley. 21. 1. 27. 71. 7. And number 12. 1 minute 9.35. 1 minute 9.35. Family of Left to Goodwin in his memory, sponsor race number five. We have a, a non starter in uh, race number five, Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes are non starters. Paul Cooper, passengers Nick Radley, and Richard Sweeting, passengers Paul Walcott. Straight for the first time then. There's Nick Bradley making the move round the outside. Jojo Van der Voort is the out for the goal. Oh, the out for gone completely over on the end of that top three. Carry so quick on through the second. Red and yellow flags are out. Red and yellow flags are out. Tony Cook and Richard Pullum all the out for the one over on the entry to that to top bend. So that Tony and his partner are going to be okay after that spill they're in, race five. Good to see that his passengers up okay, which is still more, but it is uh, Tony Cook that has got the problem at the moment up on that top end. Making a cracking start, uh, Nick Ladley not particularly quick away, but goes to in the second place as Joseph Van der Voorke picks up the third place mission. It's the four more clock in third place. Uh, Radley in second, it's uh, Jojo in third, with Walcock in fourth place. They bunch up going up the back straight, and it is still then um, Gary Soko leads it to Nick Ladley trying to make a move around the outside of that top corner. Nick Ladley totally coming to the outside line. Gary Soko on the line. Jojo Van der Voel in third place with uh, Paul Moorcock in fourth. They got the back straight once again. It is Radley Leeds with Paul Cooper in the chair from uh, Gary Southgate still holding that second place but coming under pressure from Jojo Van der Voel. Side, who wants that second place position? There's Nick Ladley and Paul Cooper starting to pull away at the front end from Gary Southgate, still there in second place. Van der Voort making a move again on the outside of that top corner. Paul Moore, 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 the family of Leicester Goodwin in memory of Leicester are the sponsor of race 5, they also sponsor race 6 as well. The winners for number 21, Nick Radley and Paul Cooper. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Laura Carrison. 
And third, number five, Jojo van der Voorf and Eric van Dijk. Fourth, number one, two, three. One minute nine point one six. One minute nine point one six. To enter number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Second, number 77, Trevor Stewart and Darren Sargent. And third, number four, Simon Beard and Yanni Van Dyke. Fourth, number 49, winning time quite a bit quicker. One minute 5.56. One minute 5.56. Race 7, AD Verity Motorcycle Sales and Repairs are the sponsors of Race 7. The number of the leading runners that go into that top corner for the first time, number 46, that is the Johnny Alvin Regulation. And it's a wide run, and Johnny Alvin has lost his lead there to Carl Bush, has gone from the inside, Yeldy again, turned it on on the outside of that top corner, Baker consolidates his third place, Richard. Richard, Verity Motorcycle Sales and Repairs are the sponsors of winter number 63, Carl Russian. Second number 46, John Yeldon. And third number one, Peter Baker. 157, 22, 117, 57, 32, 
three and number four. Woman is eight point one two. Woman is eight point one two. <laughs> Race 8 from Taylor FGT Secretary is a sponsor of race number 8. Where they got the back straight for the first time. Going into that top corner, looking across, and see Jed Collins had completely missed the start, but look at him working his way to the field. They go into that top corner, in the corner four. He could well come out in first place. They come with a complete lead. Number one, Sean Fallius has started to work his way into the field as well. They've got the back straight for the first time. Shane Gleach then from Collins again, making the move around the outside. Good action between these two. They come out of that to top corner once again. And Collins is in second place. Robert Lambert on field in the third. Willis Wine is in fourth place. Fallius has in five. That's the top line. They go up the back straight once again. Collins still leads it. And Robert Lambert goes on to the second place. And they get James the third. It's still Willis Wine holding that fourth place position. It's Jed Collins leads him on the fourth. It's Willis Wine in fourth place. Sean Chappell is seven five. Reverend Lagel is in sixth. That's the top six. We should have been now in amongst the back markers. They go into that top corner for the final time in race number eight. It's going to be number 35. Jed Collins coming to get the winning line. Robert Lagel takes up the second place. Sean Chappell takes up the third. Willis Wine is in fourth. Tony Tony is followed by number 27. There's other race number 8 to win for number 35, Jeff Collins. Second number 5, Robert Lambert. And third number 93. James Shane's 15, 1, 50, 21, 97, 99, 7, and 27. 1 minute 15.22. 1 minute 15.22. Warning from the clerk of the course to ride number 46, John Yeldon. Please keep the track the next time you are out there. Race number nine, first beat of the 500 solos then. Vince Kinchin making a good start of first four. Cooper's gone with him as they go into that top corner for the first time. Gareth Hickman holds the third place, but Gareth Hickman falls on the end of that top corner. Seconds. Into third place, up the top three. Ian Garrett has got the fourth. Yellow flags are out. Yellow flags on the other red flag. Yes, we do have a red flag in fact. Red flag out because we've got uh, number 17, Gareth Hickmott, trapped underneath his machine there on the entry to that top corner on the first lap. Just to re reiterate, in race number seven, rider number 46, John Yeldon gets a warning from the clerk of the course, please keep inside the peg. Thank you. West Norfolk Pratt Roofing are the sponsors of race number 10. So this is race 10, we're looking at that on the line. Race number 10. Where they go in with race 
second the turn, they got the back straight for the first on Scott Compton made a good stage in third place for Stephen Green takes a big humble on the inside line, he just about stops on the right there, in fact was very well to stop on Stephen Green. Smart is in fourth place up the top all the street. Off the back straight once again. Stephen Green again using every inch of track. And Smart's gone really wide on the exit from that pitch corner. Still holding on the fourth place. The green is around the middle of the second. Smart is in the middle of the fourth place. Little green is the first place. Race 10, West Norfolk Flat Roofing are the sponsors. The win for number 66, Stephen Green. Second, number 47, Jason Hillard. And third, 178, Scott Campus. 33, 76, and 97. Winning time, 1 minute 5.37. 1 minute 5.37. Back we go then to race number 9. Restart of race 9. There from the middle of the grid, Vince Kinch is the rider that goes with him. These two first and second, they go in that top corner for the first time. Dean Garrett trying to work his way to the back of the field. Dean Garrett's picking up the fourth place. That is Cooper leading them, then Kinch in second. It's a uh, has gone really wide, but holding that first place, but still just hanging on to that first place. Second line, got the third place, he's going to be the same. 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 He's going to be Still the car miles in five, and still the first of the second morning ride is being started in race number nine. Vince Kinchin gets the second place position. Still number 20, Elliot Ryan comes across the line in third. Dean Gallagher is in fourth. Car miles in five. That's just the five finishes for race number nine. Race nine, the win for number 11, Paul Cooper. Second number 18, Vince Kinchin. And third, number 20, Elliot Ryan. 12 and 21. Easily the quickest time of the day. 1 minute, 0.75. 1 minute, 0.75. AJL Painting and Decorating are the sponsors of the race number 11. First heat of the 1,000cc sidecars. Thousand CC side car, Peter Lloyd, making a good stop. 
That's the top four as they go up the back straight for the first by Peter Oyley. Colin Blackburn trying to find a way to on the inch and almost jumped into way through. On the inch of Peter Oyley as Lloyd Lee in that pitch corner for the first time again. Colin Blackburn trying to squeeze through on the inside. Colin Blackburn's the wrong side. The third, 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 on the inside, Peter Lloyd between these two and Colin Blackford. He's got four on the inside, Peter Lloyd, tremendous ride there by Colin Blackford. On the inside, Peter Lloyd leads going into that fifth corner on lap number three then. Blackford leads it from Lloyd in second, Formula will still picking up that third place looking. It's Formula in third. Number 17, Solomon Beanie is in first place. Going to go back in fifth place position. As leader in that pitch corner, 40 full of time, number 25, the Iranian Masters Champion, that's Colin Blackburn, in second place, Matt Formula fills the third place position, tight to fourth and fifth, Ribbles come again to come back on the inside, and Ribbles pick up the fourth place, Beanie is in five, and uh, we lost Steph Fly and Jason Gill on that second lap. Race 11 and a win for number 25, Colin Blackburn for Wycombe Junior. Second number 4, Peter Lloyd and Nick Wilson. And third number 5, Matt Formarola and Andy Wilson. 3 and 17. Race 12, uh, Essex Wheels are the sponsors and Paul Whiteman's passenger this afternoon will be Ben Whiteman who's 18 next week. And this is birthday treat to go on the back of Paul on the sidecar this afternoon. Race for the trial in the heat of a thousand sidecars. Colin Pardo making a good job. Right on the first place. Pardo leads up the back straight. 40 first on Bradley Legion. Pardo in second. Warren taking a long way around the outside of the trial. Pins that third place position. But it's Pardo hanging on to second place. As Bradley Legion then from Pardo in second. Warren again coming right round the outside. Warren right hanging on to second is Mark Warren for the number. In fourth place, that's the top four. They go to the back straight once again. Warren's got well into Paul and they go through. Paul Warren has got going very late indeed. I wonder what happened to Paul there. It's Paul Warren, 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 Race for fifth and sixth places. Just ahead of Paul White. Race 12 then. Essex Wheels are the sponsor. The number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Second number 306, Mark Warren and Steve Henderson. And third, number 16, Colin Pardo and Dan Seville. 81. 362 and 92. 1 minute 16.63. 1 minute 16.63. John Murray, Feminine Vice Chairman, is the sponsor of race 13. 375 open solos. Then for race 13, we're going with race 
number 30, everybody gets a clean start. It's Dave Norris, the lead on in the back space, 41st on the front, John Underwood in second, Eddie Rouse in third, John Chalmadine is in fourth place, that's the top four. Dave Norris riding the mid track, opening leader, the John Norris, and that's the front gate, and that's the top corner. The red flags are all the riders stopping, but we uh, just had yellow flags at the moment. We now have a red flag, we now have a red flag, that's Frank Yates, that looks to be a nasty tumble there for Frank. Frank uh, Yates up and okay up that nasty fall there in uh, race number 13. We we'll move on to race 14 and we'll rerun race 13 after race 14. So March taxes are the sponsor of race 14, youth, intermediates and seniors, race 2. Second place, Daniel Glover in third, Craig Drury working his way to, as is Matthew Stoll also working his way to the field recently. They got the back straight once again, all the race and disappointing early on when he had machine problems, making it count in the second leg of the intermediate. He leads into that top corner on the lap of the two, and it's still good. Seven, Oliver Rayson. Second, number 18, Daniel Glover. And third, 111, Adam Portwood. Ten. Three. One, eight, one. Ninety-five. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Eleven. And twenty-three. One minute, eleven point oh six. 1 minute 11.06. We should be now going back to race number 13. In 8th place it is 222, not 22. 222. Making a good start from the outside of the group, but John Shalmanon has gone from the inside the lead going in to that top corner. Shalmanon leads with Norris in second, Underwood in third, Rouse in fourth place. That's the top four, they come by completely over that then. Shalmanon the quicker line, back round the outside. 
It's Calvert on lead, Jim and Norris in second. These two pulling away from Eddie Rhodes, who's got the third. Jim and Norris is still holding that fourth place mission. Again, Norris on the shoulder of Shalman on. But Shalman on taking his fourth way down that fourth again. Walking at all from that second. Third. Underwood is in four. Meekins go through in the fifth place. That's the top four in the middle of the back straight once again. Still down the line. Lady Dollars again. Trying to close the gap in second. Meekins pulling away from Eddie Rose has got the third. Still Underwood in fourth. Tom Meekins definitely going closer in five. Still down the line. The the top five in race number 13. Uh, race 13 result to win for number 42, John Shalmadine. Second number 17, Dave Norris. And third number 78, Eddie Rouse. 77, 23, 4, 21, 68, and number five, winning time, 1 minute 12.78, 1 minute 12.78, we move on to race 15, second leg of the 250 solos, the Grass and Marshalls, again, are the sponsors. in front of their face, they leave the start there, but it looks like Paul Simmons leads going off the back straight for the first time, Scott Camford in second place, Dean Garrett is in third place in race number 15 then. As they get the back straight once again then, it is still Simmons the race leader there. From Campus in second place, Gallus got the third, Fellow definitely getting closer in the fourth place. This is a second place back there. Gallus is still over 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 there. Gallus is still over
tremendous race for two weeks since Gary Marshall again trying to get back round the outside. But number 68, Daniel Barber, Kim Barber, still leads it. That's going to be second. That's going to be gone through into that third place. And Gary now dropping back to four. Here's the Kajun 5. And they move on to our stop this time then. If Charlie Kool leads up the back straight, 45 times the last time. Gary Marshall is going to be second place. 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 Uh, number 68, Andrew Barley gets the winner by this time. Number 7 picks up the third. James James is in four. Ian Guthridge in five. Number 7, Ian Curl. And number 8, Robert Curl. Race 16, a win for number 68, Daniel Barley. Second number two one three, Terry Massingham. And third number six to reserve Harry Beckridge coming in to replace Paul Cooper. One nine three. One seven four. Seven. Eight. And number nine. One minute eleven point one one. One minute eleven point one one. The winning time for the previous race. One minute nine point two five. One minute nine point two. of the youth cadet and uh, auto cadets and it's that fighting that leading going up the back straight for the first time that Harley Willis has gone through into the second place position that's the uh, top two fighting that leads then from Willis holding the second place at uh, number 21 in third place, for the number 20, Ryan Kinsley holding that fourth place position as the leader is up by the clear, going up the back straight then, from Willis holding the second place. Tommy Walters in third, now coming under pressure from number 20, Ryan Kinsley. Ryan Kinsley now moves through into that third place position as that right at least on the last lap then, from Willis holding the second place. It's the Kinsley gone through into third. As the is up right it's end of that straight for the final time in race number 17. So that's two impressive wins coming up for rider number 109, Zap right net. He wins race number 17. Looking for uh, Natalia Willis to come across the line there in second place. And followed by number 20, by Kingsley in third. And number 21, Brad Topley Walters in fourth place. Race 17, the win for number 109, Zach Pikehead. Second number 14, Natalia Willis. And third number 20, Ryan Kingsley. 21, 1, 71, 11, 7, and number 12. 1 minute 8.88, 1 minute 8.88. Race 18, the family of Leicester Goodwin in his memory sponsor race 18 and they kindly sponsor race 19 as well. Nick Bradley's passenger is Paul Cooper, Barry Bennett is a non-starter. in second B, it's got the third, it's uh, Jojo Van de Borg in fourth place, they come with the big deal, and that's a big one. Corner Bradley's got Thorny inside Harvey again being forced to go right round the outside of right between these two. They've got the bats but on that number two is Bradley on the inside Harvey round the outside Harvey making a big move round the outside Nick Bradley, Nick Bradley holding a real side line for Harvey. He's in 
fourth place has got the back straight once again, slowly but surely. Nick Radley starting to pull away in this second heat off the 500 side guard. Into that top turn they go once again, Harvey taking a tight go on this second place. Second, there's the third, and the ball is in fourth place. Now Harvey's making it up again, and the bike between these two, they go into the top corner, 40 for more time again. Nick Radley, over the line, Sean Harvey's going to find a way for on the inside. Sean Harvey's going to find a way for on the inside. Sean Harvey's going to find a way for on the inside. Sean Harvey's going to find a way for Race 18, the win for number 21, Nick Radley and Paul Cooper. Second, number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. And third, number four, Simon Beard and Yanni Van Dyke. Fourth, number five, 1 minute 7.32, 1 minute 7.32. Race 19, delete 156, delete number 69, Richard Sweeting is a passenger for Paul Morcock. again for race number 19, they've got the back straight for the first time, it's number 77, Trevor Stewart leading in that top corner, it's uh, number 44, Gary Stokely going through in the second place, more top corner. Back round the outside, good ride by Tony Cook, go back through into that second place position. The Stuart leads left and Cook in second, it's South Cook in third. Walcock is in four, that's the four in race number 19. And uh, Trevor Stewart goes on. In the third place position with Paul Moorcock and Richard Sweeting in four. And Trevor Stewart start to pull away in the front end from uh, Tony Cook holding that second place. Eric South in third. Gary Southgate's got the third, Paul Moorcock definitely getting closer in four as Trevor Stewart reached into that top corner for the final time in race number 19. Trevor Stewart going in second place position. Gary Southgate's going to hang on the third. Race 19 result to win for number 77, Trevor Stewart and Darren Sargent. Second number 10, Tony Cook and Richard Fillimore. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Laura Carrison. Fourth, one, two, three. One minute 7.34, one minute 7.34. AD Verity Sales are the sponsors of race 20. Peter Baker has gone through into leading position where she's been moved through into third place. Arlene Fenner is in fourth place, but number 62 is the first time. Arlene Fenner is in five, that's the top five, that's three of them going up the back straight for the leading position. It's still Russian and Lisa and Baker in second. She's been trying to close the gap in third, which on the inside. Baker trying to come round the outside. Baker's in the white line, that's first place. Russian Legion are out there, and they're going to be in third place, they're going to be coming away from the fourth place line, they're going to be in that top two once again. Russian Legion, Baker's still in second, she's just got the 
20 down and win for number 63, Carl Russian. Second number one, Peter Baker. And third, 616, where she's been. 22, 32, 364, 57, 3, and number 20. 1 minute 9.37, 1 minute 9.37. Race number 21, you see second leg and where they go. Brenda Warburg, Megan and Cracker Stone easily to go at the back straight for the first time again. Jed Collins has completely missed the Stonies back in fourth place. Looks like Robert Lambert going through the third place and going through the second place. In fact, it's the front of the front of the the metal at the back straight on lap number two then. Lambert leads it then from Collins in second place. Change has gone to the third. Will they get in Pally to the fourth? It's um, Willis Wyden in fifth place, and the top five, Lambert still leads in, from Collins in second, James will turn, and in third, and four, Willis Wyden is in five, and then Robert in six, and the top six, and he's gone to that straight once again, Robert Lambert leads in five, and the two dead points, trying to close the gap there in second place, he's just pulling away from James Shane, who's got the third place mission, it's Willis Wyden gone through to the third, and he's going to follow himself to five, and Lambert wants to watch the ball behind him, James in third, Willis Wyden in fourth, Thunder Seven Five, Warville in sixth. Still the top six. We've got Bradley Smith in seventh place, as leader Robert Lambert in that first top corner, 40 more time and race for the front Robert Lambert in place in 21. Just coming in second place. James in third. And Willis Wyden is in fourth. Sean Pollyett has in five. Race 21, win for number 5, Robert Lambert. Second number 35, Jed Collins. And third number 93, James Shanes. 15, 1, 21, 97, 99, and 27. 1 minute 12.47, 1 minute 12.47. to get the front wheel back there, Vince Kinji needs going up the back straight for the first time. Gary Hickmott now slots into the second place. That's the top two then with Jason Hillard in third and Kinji leads it to the front of the second place. Aaron Smart is in five, it's not holding the fourth and fifth position. It's Kinji leads going up the back straight for the first time. Hickmott in second, Hillard closes the gap in third. He's three pulling away from John Smart in fourth. Number 22, as Vince Kinchin looks behind him, a big lead and over Garrett Hickmont, he's still in second. It's still the uh, 47. Oh, Garrett Hickmont dropped it in more or less the same place, he dropped it in third place. So we're on the second, five and third, Mark in fourth, so desperately bad luck there on the number 17, Garrett Hickmont, and the point he's fallen on that top corner. Uh, Vince Kinchin picks up the winning ride this time. Vince Kinchin is race number 22. Jason Hillard comes to get the second place, John Smart is 
third, with Darren Smart in fourth place. Race 22, wins number 18, Vince Kinchin. Second number 47, Jason Hillard. And third number 38, John Smart. Fourth number 76. One minute 3.52, one minute 3.52. West Norfolk flat roofing of the sponsor of race 23. Second place, Stephen Green. Round the eight of Scott Campus to go through into that second place, the Oldham. Holds in third place, looking at it. Into first place, and Stephen Green is very well to stop on there in second place. That's allowed Paul Cooper to pull away the front. Cooper leads it ever Green in second. Campus in third. That's the top thing, the Oldham. That's the There goes to the fifth place, looking for that fourth place again. Scott Campbell, who's got trouble on the outside of the track there. All the cries there was number 46. On to that fourth place. Fourth place position. Fourth place position. Fourth place position. Fourth place position. Fourth place the old is still in third, they got the last straight once again and then that top corner. It's Paul Cooper picking up the winning ride in race number 23. Stephen Green gets the second place position. The morning ride in number 20. And it's Martin in third. The old is third. Garrett in sixth and 21 in seventh place. Race 23 win for number 11, Paul Cooper. Second number 66, Stephen Green. And third, number 20, Elliot Ryan. 46, 178, 12, and 21. 1 minute 2.40, 1 minute 2.40. Looks have been race number 24 again, it'll be number 16, Colin Pardo and Dan Siddall to replace Lester Page and Paddy Monk. Crucial Rob Bradley has made a good start at the top of the the back of the move into that top corner for the first time then. It's Rob Bradley leading and Colin Pardon in second. Mark Warren trying to find his way through. Tremendous ride there by Colin Blackburn. He took the four places. Only one foul streak to go from the second place at third. Exit in that fifth corner. Bradley leading the top Five, Wibble in sixth, Super 1000 CC Cycle actually going to the back straight once again. Rob Bradley leads it. So Colin Blackburn trying to close the gap there in second place. He's still pulling away from Mark Warren in third. Rob Bradley right the inside line. Colin Blackburn switches to the inside line. Bradley leads it. It's Warren in third. Harder in fourth. Four, Warren in five. Wibble in sixth. Down the back straight. They go once again. Colin Blackburn again starting to close the gap on Rob Bradley. Rob Bradley goes wide this time. Colin Blackburn trying to cut back for the end. Side Rob Bradley's at five with the round there. They move it on to the second. Rob Bradley leads it. 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 Rob Manufacturing between these two, it's probably the second. Two 
Central race number 26, 375, still on the second leg, Dave Norris leading the back straight for the first time. John Chalmers on the second, Dave Needham is in first place. That's the top three, with Chris Smith holding the fourth place position. Dave Norris leading the top three. In the fourth place, good to see Frank Yates half down, strong the first heading in action and coming through in the fifth place at the moment. There's Norris Lee into that top corner once again, still Sharman on in second, need him in third. It's meeting in first place, Norris in second. Seven with Dave Norris now start to pull away at the front as they hit that top corner once again. Norris leading, Shalmadon in second. Good race going on. The foot in fourth place leads to John Turner third. The third of the the fourth. There's Norris leading him on the fourth. And then from Shalmadon in second. Still number 22. Shalmadon in fourth. Still number 22. Still number 22. And Dave Norris hits that third top corner. Four weeks from our time then in race number 26. If Dave Norris will in race number 26. And the race goes to John Chalmadoy. 22 from me, he's going to drop one in four. Dave Weedham is in five. Race 26 then, a win for number 17, Dave Norris. Second number 42, John Shalmadine. And third number 23, Tom Meekins. 364, 117, 4-2-21, and number 5. Winning time, 1 minute 12, exactly. That brings us up to the interval in today's meeting. Right, we're at the Enderville stage now in the uh, Norman uh, Southgate Memorial meeting. A very interesting track. It's not over big. It's uh, produced some very tight racing now in the moment at the Interval because we are on Fenlands here and it's surprising how wet the track is as we drove in. Some of the cars, in fact, were getting stuck on the way into the track uh, to, despite this dry spell, but all credit to the Fenlands Club. They are doing a tremendous amount of work, they've got a roll right there they've got a JCB moving the lo loose stuff off the uh, top corner we've had some fascinating racing, some brilliant 1000cc sidecar racing with Rob Bradley and Colin Blackburn just putting in a cracking race just before the interval, Rob making the start the reigning Masters champion Colin Blackburn completely missing the start but in one foul swoop upon that top corner he got through into second place and chased Rob all the way interesting in the 500 sidecars which of course it is the Norman Southgate uh, Memorial Meeting and his son is racing in the 500 sidecars. Nick Rattle is passing this afternoon is Paul Cooper of solo grass track fame and of course fame for the Sheffield Tigers and Nick done a splendid job so far with Paul in the chair. Two rides and two winning rides. Paul has done very well indeed in winning both his heats of the 500 solos in the quickest time, the two quickest times of the day. Very competitive 250 class. David Knowles and Lee Street and Rob Brown Bradley, Mr. Versatility, featuring the action. David Knowles, disaster. Last time he was out, his front wheel came up in front of his face on the line, and he only finished in last place in that heat of the 250s. Very competitive 350 action as well. In fact, we've had some cracking racing. Again, it's a small track. All three tracks that the Fenland Club have used this season have been small tracks, but this one's certainly producing some very good and very interesting racing as the sun continues to shine here at Fenlands. A little birdie tells me that it's someone's anniversary. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. Just over here. Right. I think that's tremendous. You're doing it now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What about you? Just come and stand over here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why aren't you right there? The photograph with them. Come on, no, it's Colin. Come on, Colin, get your arm around you. Put your arm around you. Oh, put my arm around Paul. I've probably done a response for Paul. <laughs> nice one, man. And again. Lovely. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, cheers, Paul. Yeah. Doing really well. Right. To Thank stick you very with him much. for is it 30 years now, I know. Yes. Does he commentate at home as well? When he's, when he's watching Speedway on telly, he starts commentating. Yes. Can I imagine? And his words are terrible as well. <laughs> <laughs>
blue language. Is that? <laughs> Ron, yeah, thank know. you. Great to see you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm going to get my dad to come up and see oh, you. Well, he's yeah. been just oh. working on my bikes a little bit. <laughs> Number 27 then, third leg of the intermediate, looks like Craig Jory making a good start, and Matthew Stalls are already hits the front, Daniel Glover start to work his way to finish, gone for the third place with Danny Ball in four, and the fourth was is in five, as Paul Lee. And Craig Jory has got the scene from us, we're holding that fifth place position, the leaders on the back straight once again, Paul Lee, the Glover's on his shoulder now, as they go in that top corner, Saul on the inside, Glover again making the move back around the outside, super action between these two, as they come out of that top corner, it's double got round the edge of the storm. Oh, that's the top five as they go in the back straight once again. It's Daniel Glover starting to pull away at the front then from Matthew Sorth to hold that second place. Adam Port with definitely getting closer in third. Danny Ball in four. Amy Taylor still in five. That's still the top five. And Thank you. 
is under Whitaker again, making an absolutely cracking start. Bob Dorman and Vince Kinchu on his shoulder there as they go into that top corner for the first time. Bob Dorman comes on the inside, Vince Kinchu making a move around the Nine, the win for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second, number 19, Dave Mears. And third, number 18, Vince Kinchin. 17, 213, 193, 68, 7, 174, and number 8. 1 minute 4.01, 01, the winning time. We go into race number 13 of the Omar Printing, are the sponsors, leg three of the uh, Port Youth Cadet and also Cadet, just three laps of course. Where we go then with race number 13, and it's that right that's making a good start. Natalie Willis again has gone through in the second place. It looks like uh, number 20 Ryan Kins has retaken that second place, but Natalie Willis gets back through on the inside to retake second place. It's right that leads it from Willis in second. Willis in third. Joe Sonny is in fourth place. Number 21. That's Brad Thompson goes through the fifth place. In fact, he's now picked up fourth place. As we see that right there, clear going down the back straight once again then from number 20. That's still uh, Ryan Kinsey in second place. It's uh, Natalia Willis in third place. Last up flag out then. Four that right and he's clear then of the Kinsey in second. It's Willis in third. Looking back for Joe Collier-Towns in fourth place. The leader half in that back straight on lap number three already in amongst the back markers. Increasingly double timing over, over Ryan Kinsey. We're still Natalia Willis holding that third spot. So it's win number three. Coming up for 109, Zach White next. He wins it from number 20, Ryan Kinsley getting the second place. Natalie Willis is in third. Looks as if uh, Joe Collier-Towns is going to pick up the fourth place, but number 21 definitely getting close, but Joe Collier-Towns comes across the line in fourth, with 21 in fifth place. Race 30, win for number 109, Zach White next. Second number 20, Ryan Kinsley and third number 14 Natalia Willis 1 21 27 11 71 7 and number 12 1 minute 0.75 1 minute 0.75 